All right, uh, here we are with an instructional video. This is not a, uh, or this is not an instructional video. This is a explanation or uh, anatomy of whatever. This is a Lenovo y Y50 Touch uh, computer. It's fully functional, and uh, it uh, you can see the back is off of it because I'm going to talk about the hinges. I'll give you a brief background about the computer. It was bought in uh, July 2014. Uh, by the summer of 2015, my uh, freshman college student daughter was complaining about the hinges and uh, it wasn't all opening and closing properly. So, um, literally a few days before the start of the the 2015 college year, academic year, we discovered that uh, all of this in this area, and this is the left hinge, and of course the, the LCD is off of the uh, off of the computer. It, it was completely destroyed. It, uh, destroyed being the nuts are embedded into the plastic. And uh, all of those nuts and plastic had all broken up, and uh, es essentially we discovered that the computer was not going to be able to be used. So we scrambled and, and replaced the back of the computer. We got one in, overnighted in, or within a couple of days, we got the back replaced uh, so she could, uh, you know, use the computer in the fall of 2015. Uh, now, since then, uh, over the holidays, or between the, the fall and the spring semester, I got a hold of the computer uh, and took it apart enough to see what was really going on with it, because we knew that we had not cured everything that was wrong with it. So now the two of the nuts have broken out again here on the back of the computer, so that's either got to be replaced. Uh, the back has to be replaced, and I don't remember exactly what we paid for it. Uh, or, you know, we have to somehow epoxy the nuts back in there, uh, which may just be a temporary fix and too tedious to even deal with. Now, uh, over the holidays, uh, to the, uh, between the, the fall and spring semester, I was able to get a hold of the computer. Well, we just essentially bought her another computer because this one's just not working out right. And what I suspected was occurring, I was able to get the hinge out on the right side, or both hinges, of course, and get it apart enough to see what was going on wrong with it. And as I suspected, this is the right hinge. And I'll try to uh, demonstrate to you uh, here. If you look at this hinge, and the hinge operates, of course, like this. If you look at this hinge in the closed position, this top piece that attaches to the back of the computer is not parallel with the the primary rod. And I, I apologize, the, the focus on the camera is not that good. Um, now if you see, if I push my finger down, it is, is parallel. But you can see this side also is not parallel with the, if you put a straight edge on it, uh, well, it's kind of hard to see in this picture, but you would see that really this perpendicular piece here is not, it's not completely perpendicular. It's not 90 degrees. So my suspicion is it came out of the factory that way. And that's what uh, created some of the problem or it's a big factor of the problem. The reason I say it's not 100% of the problem is part of its engineering. And if we go back over here and look at the left hinge again, one thing that we noticed with the, the, the old hinge on the left side, I've ordered two new hinges for it. Um, it was extremely difficult to move with your fingers. Of course, I don't have the leverage of the entire back of the uh, computer, you know, lifting the entire 
literally the computer up and down so you don't you lose that leverage but even moving it with your fingers is extremely difficult so that puts a lot of strain on this plastic back here that's glued to the to the top of the computer uh, anytime you open or close the uh, comp uh, the computer so now the new hinge is uh, to me feels a lot easier to open and close and I think it should be noted that there are videos out there I did find a video out there of a gentleman that suggests that this nut there's a nut here seven millimeter nut should be loosened to uh, a comp to make it easier to open and close the computer and not put such a strain on the rest of the components of the computer however uh, that may not uh, I had a technician tell me that that wouldn't be a prudent thing to do now um, I will say this once you get the back you attach the back back onto the hinge it is impossible because there's there's nothing that you can do to uh, uh, loosen this nut so if you if you do choose to loosen this nut right here you will have to do that uh, prior to putting the computer back together uh, because you cannot get a, a wrench or a, a socket or anything like that uh, on there to uh, make any adjustments so I don't know if I'm going to do that or not uh, when I put the computer together um, the other thing uh, that I need to point out is I need to uh, turn the computer over and give you a visual of what happens uh, to the exoskeleton uh, because it, this isn't the only thing that was damaged uh, with with all the hinge problems so I'll turn the computer over and we'll take a look at what's inside uh, before I take the back off uh, there is a there's a uh, screw hole on either side it holds the back on but it also goes through uh, now that I've turned the computer over this over here on my left is the uh, right side now so when you look at the right hinge it has uh, a little uh, tab if you will that's part of the uh, mounting to the inside of the computer and there's a there's a screw that that would hold this on uh, hold the back on but it also uh, holds the hinge part of the the uh, anchor of the hinge as as well as this uh, flat area here so I don't have the top or the bottom screwed on kind of looks like the top because anytime you work on the computer you have to turn it upside down so uh, the palm rest is is what we're uh, is now the bottom uh, it's the top of the computer they call it the palm rest and that's essentially uh, the primary uh, exoskeleton of, of the computer <clears throat> so now then this is a little bit difficult to see but what I'll show you here uh, now on my left is the right hinge and that hinge sits in here like so now the problem is is this this underneath this uh, tab right here which is a very important to the mounting of the hinge it's below it is completely destroyed uh, from the you know the difficulty of opening and closing the computer plus the the right hinge being bent and I don't know if you can still see the fact that that this hinge is not parallel with with uh, this rod here but I'll remove this and you'll see right here and the focus isn't very good but this is this is all cracked and just uh, basically useless um, you know so that that's part of that suspicions that I had that the right hinge was was not uh, 
in good shape and I see now there's something that I didn't notice before which is a crack over here and uh, this is all loose under here so uh, it would all be a matter of time before that would completely break out and create other problems probably and if you come over here on the left side which is on my right but if we turn if the computer was right side up um, we have the same situation here although this is not as in bad a shape the nut that you would no normally see here is not there so this palm rest has to be completely replaced and that means taking out everything in this computer and um, moving it over to another palm rest now I'll bring another palm rest into the picture the new one and you'll see this post I'll just lay it on top of the, the old one now here's the post that the hinge would sit on top of and you see the bright uh, nut the brass nut uh, there that it's supposed to be there and of course it's all solid and so forth and then you see over here you see the the one that's supposed to be there as well so um, now when you get a new palm rest if that's the problem with yours you'll want to get one with a keyboard and touchpad already in it. You can buy it without it which is pretty much useless because it takes some type of special braiding tool because it's the, the keyboard and, and the touchpad is braided in there and I don't know how in the world the, the labor and so forth of duplicating that factory uh, process would be impossible so in short or to summarize um, I have seen some videos out there where people have had to jerry-rig however to you know fix these components but if you do fix uh, you know replace the back or uh, whatever it's probably going to behoove you to get the computer completely apart and get the hinges out of it to see what's going on with it. Uh, like I said, I think this bad hinge came from the factory um, in that condition. I don't think there was anything, I know the computer wasn't dropped or it would be nearly impossible to take this hinge and bend it to that degree. Um, although I guess it's not impossible uh, but anyway in our case if we buy a new bottom which I think we can forgo for a while you know you're gonna spend probably a couple of hundred dollars in parts for the back the, the palm rest and a new bottom um, and then all the labor and so forth of having to move all these various components uh, motherboard fans battery hard drive speakers all of those different things over to the new palm rest uh, to try to get it to a, a functional computer again and i guess that's it